Hamas, excuse me, releasing video of one of the nearly 200 hostages it is holding in Gaza as Israeli forces prepare for an invasion. Our chief foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, is in southern Israel for us. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Robin. We are in southern Israel, down near the Gaza border. We can't disclose the entire location, but we are seeing enormous numbers of military tens and tens of thousands across this area as they prepare for this land operation. As you say, now astonishing new details about what's happening with those hostages. This morning, for the first time, video of one of the 199 hostages taken into Gaza. Hamas, the militant group behind the brazen attack on October 7th, releasing video of 21-year-old French-Israeli citizen Mia Shem. Her family giving us permission to show these images. She was kidnapped with many others from the music festival. I just ask that you'll bring me home as soon as possible to my family, she says. To my parents, to my brothers, please get us out of here as soon as possible. Overnight, her family speaking out. I saw my baby on television. I saw she's alive. I didn't know if she's dead or alive until yesterday. All I knew is that she might be kidnapped. I'm begging the world to bring my baby back home. The International Red Cross saying they've met face to face with Hamas leaders, pushing for the immediate release of the hostages and for access to them to check on their condition. According to the Israeli Hostages and Missing Families Forum, many of those kidnapped are in need of medical treatment. The report alleging a nine-month-old baby has no access to formula. Three children with autism require special assistance and an 85-year-old woman suffering from kidney disease and asthma requiring medication. Overnight, a spokesperson for Hamas claiming they'll release hostages of different nationalities when the means of doing so are available on the ground. But it's unclear what that means. Many of the nearly 200 hostages, which includes Americans, are believed to be held somewhere in miles of underground tunnels dug by Hamas. And amid escalating clashes along the Israeli-Lebanon border and fears that the war could expand, the IDF releasing this video overnight that they say shows them striking Hezbollah targets and military facilities in Lebanon. <laughs> And this morning, growing concerns in Gaza as Israeli defense forces prepare for a land incursion. Strikes hitting Gaza again overnight, including in the south, where the Israeli military has urged Palestinians to flee for their safety. Residents there seem digging through the rubble, desperate to find survivors of the bombing. Israeli officials saying they're determined to wipe out Hamas in their retaliation for last week's bloody assault in Israel. The death toll rising as officials find more bodies from the attack, with more than 1,400 killed in Israel, according to the health ministry. And across the border in Gaza, the Palestinian Health Authority saying more than 2,700 have been killed there in the latest strikes. Half the total population of Gaza has been told to leave their homes. Chaos and confusion at the border with Egypt as it remains closed, despite promises it might open for foreign nationals, including Americans. According to the UN, no food, fuel and little water or any kind of aid has entered Gaza in over a week. Humanitarian trucks lining up outside the Egyptian side of the border. Aid workers say thousands could starve unless food is allowed in. The UN also urging Israel not to target hospitals in Gaza, which are already short of supplies. We were told that the machines are no longer working because the water pressure now has dropped to the point where they can't function. So conditions inside Gaza are deteriorating. The mood here in Israel is absolutely determined. But there are growing concerns about what's taking place on the northern border up near Lebanon. There are concerns about what Hezbollah, this militant group that's backed by Iran, could do. And there are concerns about what Iran itself may do. We've seen Secretary of State Blinken tour throughout this region, conducting this shuttle diplomacy over the last few days, trying to bring Arab allies on board. But there's real concern throughout the Middle East about what Israel is doing right now and the conditions inside Gaza and concerns that this could spread. Michael. All right, Ian, thank you so much for that. Like you said, a lot of concern in the region. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.